Hey, Bison's fans, welcome back to Bison's TV and behind the scenes road trip. It's day two here in Durham, and it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, which means one thing on the road we're going to the gym. Well, basically, the program here is more sport specific, functioning on uh, basically sport specific training, kind of more functional as opposed to you know your bodybuilding, lifting, what guys come in and do. Depending on where you're at in, in your training, you can uh, either go upper body, lower body, uh, you can do circuits too. Uh, you've got core in there, you try to try to mix it up a little bit when you're on the road. When I say functional, we try to keep guys on their feet with all their movements. We try to do what's called multi joint movements, which will be like a squat or a lunge, things of that nature. Oh, I like it. I, I like to get up early. It gets my body going uh, before the game. If I sleep too much, that's what I get in trouble. A lot of core strength, but the core is the key. But somehow, you got to transfer that lower body energy that you're creating to your upper body. You can't do that without your core. Hey, Bison's fans, that'll do it for us here at the gym. We're going to go back to the hotel, grab some lunch, and we'll see you at the ballpark. Alright Bison's fans, here we are at the ballpark, Durham Bulls Athletic Park for game two of this four game series. We're sitting right now on top of the big blue monster, not the big green monster, but the big blue monster. It's 32 feet high, it's 37 feet high at Fenway Park in Boston. Regardless, Willie Mo Pena is playing left field tonight. He has some experience with the monster, playing 40 games in front of the big green monster while in Boston. Could you follow all that? Here's Willie Mo. I had experience because I was in Boston and you, like everybody know, they know, everybody know about the green monster in there, you have to learn how to play. I think this is why Manny, when he was in there, he was one of the best trying to pick up the balls again. That wall, because like, especially with this wall here, it's like the green monster, you just have to learn how to bat. Especially the bound, you have to learn how to be in the sense and the good spot to get a bounce. And just play like normal, but you just have to play a little more in because you know that wall's there. And when the ball hits the wall, it's hard to come out hard. So you just have to play the ball like that. How does it impact you as a hitter in terms of the way you can drive the ball to left field? No, like especially with this, like when I was in Boston, I just put my mind away to right field because I know that wall's in there and it's a little closer. It's like when I was in Boston. That wall was like even closer on that one here. And I just hit all the, everything I hit. It was outside because they didn't know kind of pitch inside to me because especially with this one here, you just have to hit the ball like, like a little up because when you hit it like land dry, it's not going to be good. You just have to be, hit the wall and probably you just make a base hit because when you hit it like so high like land dry, the ball is going to bound to the infield. It's been like it's the same in Boston. One out, a 2-2 two -two coming. Swing and a slider, hit deep in the air to left. Way back toward the wall, gone. Off the Diamond View 2 building right between the first and second stories for Willie Mopena. It's his third home run this year.